This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Hello everyone, Tech Enthusiast here and welcome back to another video. And today we are taking a look at ways to modernize and declutter Windows 11 experience. So this is the default version of Windows 11, I didn't change anything yet. And in this video I will show you my steps or the things I usually do to Windows to make it feel a little more clean and a bit more modern. All these steps are optional though, so don't do things you don't want to do, maybe you won't agree on every single thing. I will just show you what I do to modernize and declutter Windows. The first thing that I usually change on my brand new Windows installation is cursor. So I really like a lot of the cursors from DeviantArt on their webpage. So I'm here using Microsoft Edge and if you type on the Google DeviantArt cursors, you will see that you have a plenty of options to choose from. So here I really like the cursor, which is called this one, Windows 11 Cursors Concept Version 2. And I really like it because it has some of what uh, modern UI design and it also has the light and the dark options. So if you want to get this file or to download this cursor, make sure that you are actually registered on DeviantArt, that you have an account and then you can get the file by clicking this arrow button. And once you got this file, you will go to your downloads folder in the file explorer. And here you have this file. You will right click on it and you will click extract all to extract the files. And then once you opened the extracted folder, here you have an option to have the dark or the light cursor. I preferred dark cursor and you open the folder and here you have the install uh, file. You will right click on the install file, click on the show more options. And here you have an option to install this cursor. You will click yes on the admin prompt and the cursor should be installed. To change the cursor, you will type in into the search cursor and click here to the options, change the mouse pointer display or speed. Here you have the pointers section and under the scheme, you will click this theme that we just installed. Then you will click apply, click yes, click okay. And as you can see, cursor successfully changed and it looks like that. It, it is quite modern cursor in my opinion and it's quite nicer looking from the default Windows 11 cursor. So another thing that I really like to do with the fresh installation of the Windows is to actually change my default browser. So many of you probably use Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome for default browser, but I really like Mozilla Firefox. So I will go to the Mozilla Firefox webpage and here we have the download link or the download button. I will click to the download the Mozilla Firefox and set it as my default browser. So here I will click Firefox installer.exe file click yes. And once you got uh, Firefox installed and up and running, here we have an easy button to clean it to the taskbar. I'll click that. And here we also have an option to make it as default browser. I'll also click that. And here we have the option to import settings from the Microsoft Edge. I don't like that. So I will click not now. And here we have the Firefox browser. And then Windows 11 actually introduced all these brand new shortcuts or these buttons right here in the taskbar. So what I really like to do is go to the taskbar and here we have the taskbar items. So the search, I don't see the point to actually use the search button right here because once you open up the start menu here, you also have the search. So I don't see the reason to actually have two buttons to open the search. So I will disable the search and for the task view, we also have the keyboard shortcut, which is Alt plus tab. I will disable this button as well and widgets I actually don't use and also the chat with the Microsoft Teams I don't use. So I really like to keep my taskbar clean and simple. So without all these taskbar items. Before we actually take any step further, let's hear a quick message from today's sponsor. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes that we can take to up our careers. I've been looking at the classes from Ali Abdal, more specifically his productivity masterclass to level up my daily productivity goals. I would suggest if you are interested in Skillshare and encourage you to join Skillshare community and then set yourself a goal to watch a few classes and then you will see how it goes. If you have Skillshare premium membership, you will have unlimited access to all Skillshare classes and additional features such as offline viewing. 
So if you want to learn something new or level up your game, Skillshare is offering us one month free for the first 1000 people that use the link provided in video description down below. So another thing that I really like to do with my taskbar is to change the transparency of the taskbar. So to change the actual transparency, we will use the program called Translucent Taskbar. So I will type here in the Google Translucent Taskbar. And then here you have the option to get it from the GitHub or from the Microsoft Store as well. But I prefer the GitHub option, so I will click the GitHub link. And here you have the releases. I'll go to the under releases tab and here you have an option to have translucent taskbar dot app installer and you will click that to get the file and uh, click on the installer and this should open up the app installer um, program and you can install this um, application using that program as well. So right now it's installing on my system. So once you got the translucent taskbar installed, you have the welcome screen. You will click continue right here. And uh, here at the system tray, you have an option to actually change the look of your taskbar. I really like the clear option, but you also have the opaque, normal or acrylic. Acrylic looks something like that, but I really like the clear option. Here you also have the visible window, maximized window and start opened, task view opened, which I will also set to the clear. And you also have the advanced options and make sure that you have the check option open at boot. This option should be also checked as default. So the next thing is actually a program called Modern Flyouts to actually change the look of the volume of the windows. So uh, here we have this um, also on the GitHub, but it's also available on the Microsoft Store. So I really like the GitHub version. So click here to download this msx bundle click save the file to your downloads folder and uh, click on the installer and this should open once again the installer and click launch when ready and uh, here we have the modern flyouts right here in the system tray and make sure that you have the run and startup option enabled a default flyout so we have selected the default flyout you can set it back to the windows default but i really prefer the modern flyout look so here we also have the personalization you can change a few of the settings like here but i really prefer the stock look of the uh, modern flyout so if i change the volume right now you will see that we have this brand new design of the modern flyouts so the next thing that I really like or to do with my windows is to use the program from the Microsoft called Microsoft Power Toys. So this program will allow us to actually enable a few of the options in the windows itself. For example, we can um, enable some extensions in File Explorer or use Alt plus tab to open the search bar and all these settings are available in the Microsoft Power Toys, which I really like. So here you will click install Power Toys and it will actually redirect you to the GitHub page as well. And here you have the Power Toys exe file, which is the latest version. Once you got the exe file, you will click open to, to install the file. And here you will agree to license terms and conditions and click install. Then you will click yes to the administration prompt and this should install Microsoft Power Toys. Once the installation of the Power Toys is successful, click close right here and then open it from the system tray. So here into introduction screen of the Power Toys, what I recommend is to restart Power Toys as admin. And the uh, Power Toys actually uses a ton of the brand new features, which you can disable as well or enable. But some of them I don't think that are useful, so I will disable them. So for example, always on top, I will disable this feature. I will also disable the awake. Color picker, I don't need that as well. Fancy zones, I think that with Windows 11, Microsoft actually introduced this brand new picker all the window placement, which I think is quite useful. So I don't see the need for the fancy zones option in the Microsoft Power Toys. Then we have the file explorer add-ons, which I find quite useful in the file explorer itself. So I keep all the settings enabled. Then we have the image resizer, which I also don't find useful. I will disable that. Keyboard manager, disable that. Mouse utilities, disable all of them. Then we have the power rename, we can also disable this. But here we have the power toys run, which I really like. So the shortcut to actually activate this tool in the power toys is Alt plus space. And it opens up this search window where you can actually type in the, let's say some of the programs or is basically the same as the windows search right here into the start menu. 
Then we also have the shortcut guide, which I don't use as well, and the video conference mute, which I also don't use. So the two features that I really like from the Power Toys is the File Explorer add-ons and the Power Toys Run. So the next thing that I really like is to actually change the wallpaper uh, from the default Windows wallpaper to something different. So I really like if you are, for example, if you are into the live wallpapers, I really like the program called Lively Wallpaper, which is completely free. So if you go to the Lively Wallpaper webpage, here we also have a link to download from the GitHub and also from the Microsoft Store. So all these specific links that I got in this video or all these files will be provided in video description down below. So make sure that you check them out. So here we have an option to get this lively wallpaper and I will just get the installer from the GitHub and I will click save right here and then open up the installer. And here I will pick install for all users and click yes. Click OK, click Next, accept the agreement, click Next. We can create a start with Windows and click Install. Once you are at the end of the setup wizard, you will click Launch Lively Wallpaper and click Finish right here to launch the Lively Wallpaper application. And once you are on the welcome screen of Lively Wallpaper setup, click Next right here, start with Windows, enable this. Click next, use normal interface, dark taskbar team click off because we use the translucent taskbar for this. And this is it. So right now I'll click X and you should open it in the system tray right here. So here we have the lively wallpaper application and here you can easily choose from whichever wallpaper you would like to. However, you can also add your own live wallpaper, for example, from a specific file such as MP4 or let's say GIF files, or even you can enable a live wallpaper with YouTube link. So once you got the lively wallpaper or once you got your preferred wallpaper. I really like this ribbon wallpaper, so I will enable this wallpaper to actually change it from my default Windows background. So it looks something like that. So here, as you can see, we have this um, dark icons. And as you can see, you actually can see the date and this uh, settings or the volume and the settings. So what you're going to do is go to the settings and then you will change your system theme to the dark. So go to the personalization, then go to the colors and here you will click the dark system theme. So choose your mode, you will click here dark and this should actually fix the issue. And with that being done, what I recommend, go to the apps settings and then you have the option apps and features, you will click on that. And uh, if you don't use any of uh, some of the programs, then I suggest you to actually uninstall all of the programs that you aren't actually using. And one thing I also recommend, if you have, let's say, applications on your desktop, is to right click on your desktop and here you have an options view and here click uncheck the option show desktop icons and this should be a whole lot more cleaner so you don't have the icons on your desktop. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. And if it was, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm to reach the wider audience. And also, if you are new here, subscribe to the channel would be much appreciated. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I see you all in the next video. Peace.